Welcome Guardians, this is Winch here. I want to bring some highlights of some Rift gameplay since the 2.0, finally, the 2.0 patch has dropped for Destiny. My god, was it nine months? Finally, De uh, Bungie's got around a patch in this game. I've argued it was in a completely broken state and uh, I was at my bare wits in with this game and uh, fortunately found some new uh, life and glory into the game because it desperately needed it. Uh, really happy about this patch finally launching. Uh, I guess better late than never, but it boy did it need this sooner than this. Uh, 18, nearly an 18 gigabyte download today. Monstrous download and uh, <laughs> pretty staggering size and uh, nice to see some uh, new maps coming in. It was, it was, you know, this is basically a week before the Taken King is launching, and I think Destiny is going to have an explosion of content here coming out here in the next uh, few weeks to come. A lot of uh, interest about the game right now. If you're on the fence about Destiny, I'd really encourage you to probably give it a shot now. Because uh, for $60, you can get an immense amount of content um, with the uh, limited edition releasing. Now it has all the previous uh, DLCs and, of course, the uh, the big one, the Taken King, dropping uh, uh, with the launch of uh, next week. So uh, I'd say, if, again, if you're on the fence, particularly there's a lot of content here for you, both multiplayer and single player. But, you know, everything's a community involvement, uh, and you can play with uh, your friends and such. I primarily like playing uh, Crucible. And that's what you see today is the uh, highlights today. This about, you know, several hours of gameplay compiled into, uh, I'm here about 15 minutes. I don't think I'll commentate through the whole video here. I just want to show you some highlights of uh, the, the Rift game mode. This is a new game mode that just launched. If you're not familiar with this game mode, essentially what it is is what they call a spark. The spark is like a central objective, and that is what both teams are fighting for to obtain. It, it, uh, it comes in the same point of the map every time, and think of it like a capture point or a domination position. So you go over there, you grab this thing, and then it's like capture the flag at that point. You take that, but you don't take it to your base. You try to take it to the enemy's base and get it into what they call a rift position, if I recall correctly. And uh, you kind of like dunk it in there. So it's almost like a game of football or you know, basketball, if you want to call it dunking, uh, with the with a little twist of uh, control there and element as well. It's a very objective, very, very obviously a lot of uh, combat is focused around that spark objective. And once you get that objective, um, it's your goal to get there as quickly as possible. And you have to solicit the help of your team to stem the onslaught of the uh, the enemies as they usually pull back into defensive position. You kind of have to rely on your teammates to go in there ahead of you to try to, to uh, combat the uh, defenses of the enemy. So it's it's a unique game mode. I really am enjoying it quite uh, quite a lot. Uh, it's very very action packed. But my biggest criticism about it here's a spark right here. I'm about to pick up, and as you can see, you just don't pick it up right away. So you're you're basically vulnerable to sniper fire or anything else. But this is my biggest criticism. It's like a six second respawn time, and it was kind of frustrating to me. Uh, many times when I'm rambling in there and getting killed, you know, to my uh, uh, dismay, uh, quickly. Uh, again, you maybe need me to play a little more passively. Uh, but the criticism I found is this: it just seemed like a result of a lot of downtime between respawns. It's kind of frustrating, particularly when you're not really acclimated to that long of a time. But it's a unique game mode. I really like this concept. Look at this map. I mean, I, I, I want to show you kind of the intro lead into these maps. My god, they're gorgeous. Very detailed. Much more detailed than I think I've seen in a lot of these uh, Destiny maps. It almost seems like, uh, and I, granted maybe it's because I got a new television, but it seems like the graphics seem a little bit better to me right now uh, than what I recall with uh, this particle effects, gun effects, sounds, everything that seems ramped up since this, uh, this patch has launched. Right now I'm running with Harlight. Of course we know this is a massive uh, look at the effects of Harlight. Completely different weapon. It looks like you're almost shooting laser beams out of this thing. I mean, there's so many nuances of very little different guns, exotics, so many changes. It's just, it'd be impossible to cover them all. Uh, but I'm really pleased with what I've seen and improvements and changes in the weapons alone. I really enjoy the auto rifle change. It's just kind of, kind of funny to see just literally at a click of a finger, a snap of a finger, essentially destiny changed in a moment's notice. It goes from all this hand cannon exotic spam to auto rifles again. And I know the community is saying antsy to get back auto rifles, but I think there's a good reason to use them. And I've definitely seen the reappearance of the Cyrus today. It's still a monster. It was really uh, outgoing a lot, outgunning a lot of my auto rifles I was using, like the Silomars here, uh, at longer ranges. And I'm really starting to see the auto rifle damage drop off. Uh, is, per, is quite significant, but um, 
the uh, I'll show you in a couple moments here what this gun is here that I'm running. This is what I call my personal wind shear exclusive exotic called Silomar's Wrath auto rifle. It has both. Uh, it was the the original Silomar's Wrath before the the relaunch of the latest version. You can't get this gun anymore, and there's no way I'm ever going to delete this gun. It's an absolute monster. It has both reactive reload and crowd control and uh, fitted stock. Uh, and I reforged that so many times back before you could reforge guns. You can only do it in Iron Banner. And uh, I put out a review of that that this weapon uh, earlier, and I in the video I, sh I put the review on, I obtained 9 kills in 50 seconds, and that was before they buffed the auto rifles to where they're at now. Uh, now that thing's pulling out 23 damage precision uh, after I get a kill and uh, activate the reactive reload. And with that maximum fire rate, that's, I mean, it's cutting pe through people like Swiss cheese. You can see a lot of gameplay with that uh, here to come. But I really like this map as well. Um, I mean, it's just the, the, uh, the vivid colors, the greens, the, the alleyways. It's not, it's not like how they make Call of Duty maps. That, that's one thing I got to give uh, uh, Bungie some credit on is just map design and flow. Uh, it can be a bit campy at times, and it can be a little bit frustrating, but there are lots of flanking routes, so a bit of verticality here. Uh, overall, I'm really pleased thus far with these maps uh, in comparison to some of the other maps I've seen where, you know, maybe like, for example, um, Pantheon, uh, that's a little less de desirable than Kitty. But this moment right here is my first score with the Rift. Boy, my heart must have been beaten. Uh, it was just felt like my heart was going to explode. I mean, this, the drilling was pumping. I was just, you know, I mean, it's just... When you get that thrill, I mean, it's that, that's what we play games, is it not? I mean, just for that, uh, that fun experience, I, just, I have not felt that for a while, it's particularly with Destiny. I was really pleased with that moment. And I'm going to show you a few more scores here throughout the, uh, the gameplay. Again, just try to show highlights. Nothing in depth, uh, just uh, kind of feeling it out. This is the first thing I did today on the patch. I just had to get in Crucible because, again, that's, that's, where, that's what my draw is. And that's one of the good things about Destiny. Yeah, whether you like multiplayer, competitive multiplayer, you're definitely going to have that ability here. And you know, with all the classes and weapons, we got three new subclasses coming for all the three classes. Uh, and I'm really anxious to play the Titan Sung Singer class because, I mean, I, you see my video before about how I think Titan is arguably the weakest PvP class. I think that's all going to change, and that obviously Bungie realizes that. That's why I think they've come out and made the, the Titan such a good class here. Um, and look at this one, like, what is going on here? Somebody missed that melee, uh, but I think Bungie realized that the Titan desperately needed some some tweaks competitively uh, in the multiplayer segment. So I think you see with the launch of Taken King, a lot of changes here with uh, with the Titan. Now this auto rifle I'm using here is the um, Bring Your DHP or I can't recall what it is, but it, I'll, it's a great weapon. I mean, all of us have this in our inventory. A lot of uh, auto rifles is waiting to uh, to get utilized and. Uh, uh, I was kind of disappointed. The Shadow Price, maybe some of you guys have that, but that's a year one auto rifle uh, that I was fortunate enough to drop in a Nightfall with both Field Scout and it also has a perfect balance. And um, and I think it was like Feeding Frenzy or something else like that. Uh, but but anyway, I was looking for, I've held on that gun forever. I was really uh, thinking that's going to be a good gun to have when Taking King launches. Well, to my surprise, they completely destroyed Field Scout. Uh, maybe you guys observe this as well, but if you have a legendary weapon with Field Scout and you equip Field Scout, it does absolutely nothing to your magazine size. I don't know if that's a glitch or that's what they intended because I thought they were just reducing the, the effect of it by like 40% if I saw the patch notes right. So I was a little deterred by that. I'd never even pulled out a Shadow Price today because I, I mean, if I can't use Field Scout, it, it, it changes what the magazine was from 25 to I think to like 52 uh, before. And now that if, if you equip... Uh, field Scout, it gives you absolutely nothing, so it's almost like a useless perk, and it's just pretty disappointing to, to see that. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a final build or not, but here again, pulling up the spark, coming around on the flank, and just, uh, you got to be aggressive here, and I don't know why Pantheon was just keep coming up. It, it started off so good in Crucible today, <laughs> and kind of going beast mode on here. It started off so good with the new maps, and then all of a sudden the rotation, this, the old, I guess the old uh, Dark Below maps started coming in. And before I know it's like I'm back in Pantheon grind again. I, this Pantheon kept coming up, coming up, coming up. And, uh, you know, I just I really hate this map. And I don't know why it, it just... The, seems like the, the map rotation is still very ambiguous. I don't know what's going on with uh, Bungie and how they uh, determine the map orientations and sequences. But it, it's still there where this the same map will keep 
spamming you repeatedly. Yeah, look, pretty good uh, streak here. Uh, wrap it up there. Necrochasm, we're seeing a lot of that, um, but um, it's a good gun as well. So here again, there's uh, the Silomar's Wrath. So you can see uh, reactive reload and crowd control here. I'm going to show you some gameplay here where I actually engage and utilize the reactive reload, and you'll see it, it actually does a 50% damage buff for that three second duration. There about three seconds. It's a little less when you include the reload time, but I mean, it literally just saws through it. Right here, I'll show you. I believe this clip. Uh, I'll, I'll obtain a kill, drop back. You'll just see me slice through this guy in like a nanosecond. I mean, this is pretty effective. Like, okay, so there's kill. Watch this. There he is. He, he was damaged a little bit there already, but it made quick work of him, and I just kind of go on a little bit of a terror there. So. Uh, very very pleased looking forward to using this gun more it's it kicked around quite a bit more than I recall uh, it's been a while since I used this auto rifle stability is everything I mean ideally I'd like to have perfect balance on this gun but you know I took what I could get with you know three out of three rolls essentially I was trying to get uh, but just just fun moments all in all today I was just playing by myself because a lot of my friends didn't have the uh, the patch downloaded yet I'm just playing with myself Lots of competition out there again. I'm looking forward to new classes because again, I'm just seeing these uh, hunters roll around with blade dancers and gold guns, just wiping teams. It, it, that that class, I mean, it's <laughs> Dado does this. He put a good video out about how that class is just it really is um, uh, overpowered. <laughs> That's not what the words he said, but the stats he used it, clearly it's overpowered. I think so. It's good to see some new folds coming into the multiplayer segment. I think. Uh, that's going to make some changes to this uh, widely used uh, hunter class. I think you see a lot more titans out there. Um, a lot of times when I roll as a titan, I just feel like uh, I'm just basically uh, allowing uh, the enemy team to use that bounty. You know, kill 25 titans in the uh, the bounty. How long does that take you to do a lot of times? You know, Because how many titans do you actually see in Crucible? It's not a lot sometimes. Um, pulling off just a couple uh, triple kills there. I mean, that's a hard thing to do a lot of times as a class. Uh, I was pulling off basically one or two kills if I was lucky at times. Again, running, uh, I was running the give and take fusion rifle. I uh, encourage you guys to get that while you can before the Taken King launches in less than a week here. Um, it's a good uh, fusion rifle. It's working pretty good for me here in Crucible. So this was Plan C. Just, just everything seemed really good. Shotguns, I mean, Fell Winters was still one shot me, no problem. Um, I didn't really see the nerf that I, I was expecting to see with shotguns, but, uh, you know, they're, they're always going to be around. You just can't alienate one whole class of weapons uh, in the end. Uh, also, I want to mention Pocket Finney still broken. Pocket Finney, the exotic fusion rifle. It will not go full auto. <laughs> They've not got that right for, I don't know, majority of the time that the games have been out. Here it is here. Just, it was not it was not going full auto when it needed to at the times it's glitching out and all that stuff. So this is utterly useless still. Kind of disappointed by that because this used to be a really good exotic uh, fusion rifle and I used it quite a bit. Uh, but there's no question, I, Plan C is a better option uh, than this. But that's really good uh, fusion rifle as well. Uh, that's going to wrap it up here for me, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see, what you thought about uh, this uh, Rift game mode thus far. I'm pretty stoked about it. Looking forward to taking King. Um, I won't be spamming your inbox with a lot of uh, content. Uh, I'll leave that to the other guys out there. Uh, but I will get you some more Destiny content as, it, uh, as I... I can work it in. I've got some vacation coming up here and spend some time with the family. Um, but uh, I'll definitely cover the Taken King as well and uh, looking forward to uh, getting some good gameplay for you guys. Pulling off their uh, pretty good uh, super kill. But um, let me know again what you guys want to see. Maybe particular auto rifles or anything like that. Or if you want to see more of the Silomars, I'm definitely going to have more of that. Uh, I kind of maybe produce a post uh, 2.0 patch review of the Silomars. Uh, and then I also have the other variant as well, and uh, the, the, lo the load loadout I have on that, I believe, is uh, uh, range finder and another, like, range perk. So that's kind of where I'm at there. Invective 2, good shotgun with that. Uh, it's good for close quarters stuff. This is lots of good close quarters gameplay in these maps. Um, they still trying to feel out how they, they look and roll, and I get acclimated to that. But uh, I'll just show some few, a few more hit clips and highlights here. Uh, let me know uh, if you guys are enjoying having experienced Rift. Maybe, I, I mean, I just haven't seen anybody else and I haven't seen any other opinions of it yet, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it. if you're enjoying it as well. I'd be curious to know that as well. Here's a few more clips here of Silomars going to town. And I uh, hope you guys like the video. I will see you on the battlefield.
taken the spark. Get to the rift. Hearing the rift. Run! Heavy ammo on the way. Enemy rift ignite. Charging the spark. The spark is available. Double kill. Your runner is advancing. Spark runner is down. Two for one. Spark charging. Double kill. Has arrived. Runner out. Push forward. Your runner is advancing. Too close. You must protect your runner. Runner down. 